Hey guys, what is up? I just got back from Belize. I am in New York City. It feels so good to be back home, but a lot of questions I got was what type of gear, what type of camera gear do you take when you travel? When I went to Belize, I went there to, yes, have fun, but I also went there to make a dope Belize video, which will be out in the next couple of months, but I also have posted two vlogs so you can watch them and you can see all the great footage I got and all the crazy fun. Without further ado, I wanna show you what is in my camera bag. So everything I brought, it is so heavy, but everything I brought fits in this bag. This bag is a Polar Stuff camera bag. Unfortunately, I don't think they sell them anymore. I will link something down in the description below that is similar. But what I like about this is it is functional, but it also looks pretty cool. Um, I like my camera bags to look cool because I wear them a lot. This bag is slightly weird. There's pockets on the outside, but there is a camera insert on the inside. So I can use, I can take this out and use this bag as a normal bag um, and just take out the camera insert, but the camera insert is always in there. So there is two flaps that keep my SD cards on the outside, like my wallet and things. Pro tip alert, keep your empty and full SD cards in two separate Pelican cases or cases. Um, it'll help you not format over SD cards that you don't want formatted over. I did bring a lot of camera gear on this trip. Each thing serves a different purpose, um, but my main shooter, like always for all of my vlogs, is the Sony RX100 Mark V. I had the three before this, but this is my main vlogging camera, main just take wherever there is not water and shoot. It's great for pictures and video, but I mainly use it for video. I get a lot of nice slow motion out of this thing um, but also it's a great shooter to just talk to because the audio is pretty decent coming out of it next up is the camera this is a big one this is my really nice good camera uh, this is a Sony a7s 2 I also have the a7r but there's really no need to bring both on the trip I was actually taking more pictures with this thing um, but it also does great low light, so when I was in situations where we were at dinner or I needed to take some low light video, this is what I picked up because the RX105 is great for low light, but nothing compares to the AS7. You can crank the ISO up to like 12,000, no problem. So this is a 70 to 200 F4 IS. There is a F2.8, but it is so massive and so expensive when you're shooting on an A7S. You don't really have to worry between f4 and f2.8 because it's so good in low light. I've really been enjoying this lens. Any photographer, videographer where you're shooting events or really anything needs a 70 to 200 lens. It's it's amazing. In addition to the 70 to 200, I also have this lens, which is a very small lens, but it packs a lot of punch. This is the Zeiss Sony 35mm f2.8. So it is a beautiful lens because it is that uh, smaller f-stop of 2.8, so you can really stop it down and get some nice bokeh. But why I got this is it's so tiny. Look at it compared to this lens. It's super easy to throw this on, just put it in my purse and go wherever we need to go. So those are my two lenses that I brought for the A7S. So far we have the RX100, the A7S with two lenses. When it comes to water things, I only use this GoPro. It's the GoPro Hero 5. It does 1080 up to 120 frames per second. It does 4K recording. It has a decent touch screen. The touch isn't super responsive, but it is great for going through clips and changing the settings. It takes a little bit getting used to, but once I conquered it, I was good. And so I brought a lot of accessories. A lot of the times the GoPro just hangs on this. This is like a floaty thing that I attach the GoPro to. So whenever it's in the water, it's good to have something that will make your GoPro float if you drop it. And then I have the extra batteries with the case and a lot of random GoPro accessories. So the last camera that I brought is something that I am super, super stoked on. Um, I got it very recently. It is the DJI Mavic Pro. It is a awesome drone that folds down into the size of a water bottle. So if you look at what it looks like in this bag, it is tiny. It squeezes into um, the middle compartment and it is just very, very portable. So this is the drone. Um, of course, you fold it out in order to fly it, but it just fits so easily into my bag. I can literally bring everything I need in one bag. I've been loving this. If you wanna see some drone footage, you can watch my previous vlog. I have a few accessories. So I have the remote 
in the bottom compartment of the bag. I have two extra batteries for the DJI Mavic. I also have some just charging cables. So this is a um, charging cable for my iPhone and also a USB micro. And then I have other things like this is my hard drive. I really recommend the Samsung uh, terabyte SSD hard drive. It's super fast and look how tiny it is. It's the size of a credit card. It's insane. So I also brought a ton of batteries with me. I never had battery issues because I was in a place that I could charge every night. And so I brought, let's see, I brought five A7S batteries. I, this never became a problem. I went through one or two every single day. Um, and then I had three additional RX100 batteries because my RX100 does turn through batteries, um, but I was only using about one or two of those a day. I also have a ton of iPhone headphones. I actually don't know why I have so many. My most recent favorite thing ever are these this tic-tac box of a thing. These are the new Apple AirPods, the wireless Bluetooth um, headphones from Apple, and I wore them everywhere. In addition to all this gear, of course, I also have my iPhone, so I was shooting a ton of iPhone pictures for the Instagram, but it's pretty crazy. I brought all the stuff out of the US in one bag, and nothing broke. I didn't lose anything. I did lose my Ray-Bans, which is very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, no camera stuff broke. I came back with all my SD cards, so yes, right? In addition to all of this camera gear, it makes this bag very heavy, but it is even more heavy because I do have a laptop in here. I was in paradise, but things still had to get edited and work had to get done. You kind of unfold this flap and unzip the back here. This bag is like water resistant. Um, you know, it's not waterproof, but it does deflect water if it does rain, which is handy. So there is my laptop back there. So yeah, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch, and this is kind of my main workhorse. So all of this stuff fit into this bag. I now have back issues, but it got the job done. I would like to give a special thanks to my camera B operator. The Sound Shepherd! What's up, Peachy Fam? It's been yes. a while. The squad is back. The well, squad some is of us. Well, some of us. Some of us are here. Eric. It feels good to have you back, back. though, Eric. It's been so long. I hadn't seen Sarah since last year. Like, mm -hmm. dad joke last year. But no, I haven't dad seen you since December. I know. It's, it's been crazy. A while. It's crazy. Thanks. Thanks for helping me of course. film this. Wait, um, did you did you tell them about this? No. So yeah, it's so good to be back in the city. You guys know I love New York City so much. So it's so good to be back for a little bit. Um, click on the Sam Sheffer face on the end screen and subscribe to his channel because it's amazing. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. All of these will be linked in the description below if you had questions about the specific type of gear that I have. So until next time, watch my previous vlog because it's really dope and you get to see all of the stuff in action but until next time what do we say around here stay peachy, stay peachy fam okay bye oh look we are arriving at our island parkour 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 oh yeah this is nice here we have our plantain chips friends beach Pineapple. Live in large. Live in the life.